The cock and argus in the curios. Bro, I love Special K. Love them. I love them so much. King of the cock, they call the boys, them. The boys were telling me how much they can't stand them. They're annoying. I get it. Curios, no. Curios is one of those personalities that you can't like. Mm. I love him. Mm. I love I love the entertainment value that they bring. Yes, sir. Don't get me wrong. They are terrible. He's terrible for the sport, I reckon. Like, he's not helping the sport in a classical way. Mm. Entertainment-wise and value for money, he's killing it. He's the best. He's killing it. I, it was just very fascinating because Kokonakis won the Adelaide mm. um, tournament prior to jumping in and they got eliminated round one. And I'm like, oh, well, yeah, fatigued. He's played a lot sure. of tennis. It's whatever. And then Curios, I think, got wiped by... I don't know. It was in round two, though. Yeah, but it got wiped. Yeah. And then... I was like, all right. Then they did doubles. Okay, this will be a laugh. This is more. Of, I think it's more of entertainment, more feeling. Doubles isn't like Pete was explaining that to me. Like, I love my tennis, but Pete, Pete's very good when it comes to tennis. He was explaining it to me last night. He goes, doubles is very. It's all about mistakes. Mm. Like the only reason you're getting a point is because the other team has stuffed up. Mm. And sure. you watch a doubles match. Yeah, it's pretty spot on. The rallies don't go on for that long at all. No. Um, but mate, they did well. Mate, they won it. I mean, they did very well. They wiped out the world number ones. Yeah, which was fantastic because then the coach wanted to offer to fight out Kyrgios after. Take it easy, bro. Pack your bags, go back home. Go back to go back with Djokovic. Um, then everyone's like calling him names this and that, and Kyrgios like, yeah, well, I can't hear you when you're not in the tournament. You know, I love that. <laughs> love, love it. But the thing that got me the most was when they had moved the semi from one of the other arenas to Rod Laver, the main arena. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, they have spiced this yeah. up. This well, is so good. That's the thing. Like, as much as you might not be a fan of him, he brings people to the sands. Mm. No, yeah. they sold out mm. constantly with those two. Yeah, and then they pushed the attendance from 50% to 80%. Yeah. yeah, I'll say this was not a fan of all the C's. So, what do you mean? Listen, I love it. I love C. But the problem I had was it was after every single Ooh, point. It's the best, bro. No, no, but, like, I saw a video of Rafa getting ready to serve. Oh, yeah. And then some guy yeah, yeah, from yeah. the top goes, yeah, 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 no. that's what I mean. Yeah, yeah, no, uh, no, I'll Add a win of a point, go for gold. Yeah, yeah. yeah go nuts. That's so the point. See. It. Like, it's the best. Yeah. But when I saw it happen to Rafa and just how annoyed he got, I was like, yeah, this isn't right. Like, this is yeah. starting to get embarrassing. Yeah, yeah, I know. I, I think... That's where I get frustrated. Other than that, loved it. Mm, nah, very good. I've enjoyed the Australian Open. Yeah, it's been good. It's been very good. I love, I love when the players abuse the umpires. <laughs> I, nah, nah, I love it because these umpires aren't professional. They just, I feel like they're just guys that get off the street. Bro, bro, some of these umpires have had some horrendous calls mm. or some horrendous like penalties. It's been a joke. Mm.